What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Unique Speaks, talking about what I'm talking about because that's what your girl is all about. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I am so excited that you're here. I you hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling blessed. Now, today, we're going to be talking about trauma and relationships. I wanted to touch into this a little bit because I just had an amazing fourth year anniversary. Okay. And in that, so much happened, okay? I feel like a whole transition happened, but I wanna talk about why I was able to feel that shift, okay? If this is your first time visiting my channel, hey girl, hey girl, hey. <laughs> girl, let me tell you, you are a unique one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gravitated to some other type of energy and you just don't find yourself fitting in the way you're used to. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh -huh, and the notification bell next to it because you want to be notified every time I upload a video, which will be every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, honey. All right, let's jump in on in this video because we ain't got time to waste, okay? Okay, so you may have noticed in my last video when I was just, you know, throwing out some support, you know, to make all the women, you know, all women who have been dealing with trauma, you know, um, especially from our childhood and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to piggyback off of you know, just what I was talking about, you know, just going through the motions of my emotions, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a survivor of my past. So being a survivor and getting to that place that I was able to come out of it, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but it was two years ago. So two years ago, maybe two and a half years now where I was ready, okay, even ready to even Say I want to tap into that area. I want to tell you some of the signs that I ran into that could have, you know, ignited me. You know, that light bulb came on. You know, something is up. I'm not liking the way I'm showing up, okay? Now, for me, it was how my husband was communicating to me, okay? Now, we all know that men communicate totally different, so, you know, you can't just take what he said and run with it, but I can just tell that I knew I was in love with my my husband, okay? I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. I did not see myself trying to get back out on these streets trying to find me no man. I knew that that's not what I wanted. But because of some of the things that he was voicing to me, really made me see myself. And it took a while though. And that while took so long, it caused a lot of stress in our marriage. It caused a lot of strain on the relationship that we were building. So therefore, yeah, we got rocky. We got rocky enough to where, you know, you go this way, I go this way, something. Like, <laughs> I was just, I was tired, but I wasn't tired of him. I was actually tired of myself. So I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I definitely know that got affected in my marriage because I decided not to tap in and figure out what was really holding me back from being the amazing wife that I am today. Okay, like I can say that now because y'all don't even know. But that story is going to come out one day. It's going to come out when it's time, okay? And one thing that I know that when you're married, don't be trying to just put all your business out there just to gain people's attention, okay? There is a time and place for everything, okay? With that being said, y'all, so I want to talk about four different things that I know that got really, really affected by my trauma. And there is all types of trauma, which we will get into. I just need to know if y'all interested in knowing some of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because so I'm just coming from whatever God put on my heart. That's what I'm bringing, okay? But you can take this and apply it to you, and it can help you in a lot of different ways, okay? But I just really want to stretch mine, okay? Because I'm not out here trying to tell anybody how to do anything, okay? We all have our own pace, our own story. So here's my the four things that I believe that got affected in my relationship was communication, my perspective of my husband, our emotional and physical intimacy, and sex. Yeah. These are the four things that I know for a fact that were just offbeat, okay? Now, I know that a lot of marriages and relationships go through a lot of ups and downs, especially when it comes with children, finances, bills, where we're gonna live at, family woes, you know, back and forth stuff, but I literally probably would have had those type of issues, but my trauma was so huge that that stuff didn't even affect me or us. 
because we were so trying to figure out what was going on in our relationship that those other things we was e actually easy to coast through <laughs> So when it came to communication, you know, I began to see my husband in the light of the men that hurt me in my past. Yeah, that's what trauma did to me. It allowed me to see my husband as if he was one of those same guys that was just running amok and, and around me, okay? Passing me around like a little pacifier. I, I don't care what y'all wanna label it as, okay? I tried to put my husband there. So I communicated in him with anger. You know, the, the, the unique that should have showed up, you know, the autumn years ago, she was showing up right now. You know what I'm saying? She was showing up in the present when he didn't even deserve it, okay? Trauma took over mentally and I acted on it, okay? I definitely acted on it. My perspective of my husband was also tied into the communication, okay? My perspective is what the, some of the things that he was doing, which was natural. Absolutely natural. What a man do when he in love with his woman, he y'all I don't even want to get into it, okay? But the things that a man do when he is in love, okay, I could not receive because my perspective of him was just like the rest. And that is a big no-no. And I'm just gonna shout that out right here to anybody who is trying to hold your spouse, hold your significant other to what you've been doing in your past. If you don't open up your eyes and see what's in front of you, whoo! You're missing out, okay? But I say that to say that in my perspective, in my trauma, I was not healed in yet. I was, I just saw him different and I talked to him different. I communicated different. I was mad, so my tone was all over the place. Everything was all out of order. My sexual perspective, you know, was definitely affected because of course, the only thing that I knew was that you wanted me for my body. You know, men just want to have sex with me. You didn't want to know what was going on in my mind. You didn't know what my goals were. You didn't know what I wanted out of life. You, I just felt like you just didn't have time to know who I was. You didn't have time to know these things about me that were very, very important and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Not on the physical, but the beautiful things on the inside of me that I held. So therefore, I felt like if I didn't have sex with you, that you didn't even want me in the first place. So my perspective of sex was all out the off the window. I thought it was transactional because literally I turned it into a transactional situation all my life and didn't even realize it. You understand what I'm saying? When I'm having sex with you, I thought, okay, you my man. I'm sure let's talk about it. <laughs> the next thing that I wanted to talk about is emotional and physical intimacy. None of that could happen. I felt like I was not connected with my husband. I felt like he didn't understand me. Uh, he understood what I was going through. You know, I just felt all over the place. And physically, I was just there. I was just like, okay, you want to say Okay. You done? Okay. That's how I was. That is how I was. Because I did not have any type of connection even with myself. So I am telling this story to encourage someone to definitely seek help. Get a life coach. <laughs> Get a life coach that is someone that you can trust, okay? That you can share some of these areas with so they can hold your hand to unfold those things and tackle them head on. We'll give you the tools you need to bring up when you need them, okay? I just wanna say that to say the next thing. Right, so y'all already know how I come. You know, I am faith-based. I love the Lord with all of me, okay? All of me. He's in every area. My shoulder blade, he is in, you know, he's right here in the elbow area. He's in my knees. He's in my pinky toe. You feel me? Like he is everywhere, all part of me. It's a very, very important step into getting your healing. A lot of us like to walk around and say, oh, I love the Lord. The Lord is in my heart. I have, you know, I know the, I know God. And we like to do all of that. But is he everywhere in you? Because if he's not, he's, you probably haven't even touched that area that could be holding you back from your greatness, okay? My greatness was being able to connect with this man that I am really ready to spend the rest of my life with, you know? He never gave up on me, okay? He asked me out when I was in middle school, okay? Middle school. This goes way back. To be married to him is truly a blessing all in itself. But however, I did not embody this trauma. And taking the step to invite God into my life was the very first step that I can say that led me to my healing. Because not only that I brought God in because I was tired of being broken, I was tired of being disconnected, 
to so many different things. So many different things. People, my husband was just the main thing. And then, you know, above him was God. You know, so I was like, if I'm connected from, disconnected from God, I'm disconnected from my husband, and now I'm disconnected from people in general. Because I had a view of people and life in a totally different way. So, two and a half years ago, me leaving the church home that I was in and really dedicating myself to search out God for who he really was, was the first notion that I knew that I was ready to get the strength that I needed. God was giving me the strength through my weakness. This ain't no but scripture, but I'm just going to come to y'all real plain and day, okay? He was coming to me and giving me the strength that I needed. When those stimulus checks was coming out, girl, in 2021, God said, don't you spend that money. Don't you, don't you dare spend that money, okay? I went ahead and I invested into a life coach. And I went through 18 to 19 weeks of sessions paying out of my own pocket. I had insurance, but my insurance wasn't covered by her. And I just knew that I was called to come to her. I knew that this is the woman that's going to help me get over what I'm going through. And she definitely did. After I was able to face that, I was able to go back to the word and read it with a new vision. I mean, I had me, you know how when you can't see, you know you don't want to be that person for whatever reason, you know. But I had to get me some new glasses. Yeah, I, I obviously didn't think that glasses was something that I needed, but I did. And I'm talking about some spiritual glasses, okay? My spiritual glasses allowed me to read God's word and really apply it in the way that he expected it to. So I wasn't so closed off to new ways. I wasn't closed off to new options. I wasn't closed off to a new way of thinking. You know, my perspective was completely wide open and I was able to really discern where God wanted me to be in the time that he wanted me to be in it, okay? I was able to maneuver through situations just a little bit better, okay? That next thing after being done with my sessions and getting back to life, I still was in my motion where I'm learning, 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 learning. But my lifestyle and my relationship did not change that much, okay? It didn't get worse, but it definitely was a different type of attack that had nothing to kind of do with me, but it kind of did. You know what I'm saying? I needed another direction spiritually. I definitely took that spiritual right while God was showing me where to go and it led me to my very next mentor. We had passed through each other's life before, but I did not see it in the way that God wanted me to see it. And when God brought me to her, when I tell you that it is a mentor on a whole nother level, I'm talking about, I felt like she lived my life. And now she was here to tell me about it so I can get through the most toughest moments ever. And she just did just that, okay? Just that. This trauma and relationship is something very important. I know I kind of skirted over a lot of different things because this is not a session. This is to bring awareness, you know what I'm saying? If you are looking to get tackled into that area where you can come and evolve into a better you, well then here you go. Here's my website, please hit me up. There's free consultations we can talk and see if we feel safe enough with each other to be able to attack these goals that are already in us anyway, okay? We just gotta get out of the way so we can produce it. You understand what I'm saying? But the first step is definitely to get the tools that we need to navigate and see what works for us. But then I'm telling you, God is ready to come in after that, okay? Once we're able to open up our emotions submissively, I'm going to say it that way. God is ready to say, I'm ready. Open up. I'm coming in. I'm coming in to do some repairs. I'm coming in to do a full operation. I'm coming in to take some stuff out. I'm coming in to bring some stuff in. This is an opportunity for God to do just that. And we can be so stuck in our trauma, we do exile God out as well. So I hope that's not you, but if it is, I hope that we stay connected and we continue to grow together, okay? So go ahead, if you're feeling this video, you're feeling the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. This is, is what this channel is gonna be all about. I might throw in some things here and there so we can get to know each other, but you know what? I cannot stop talking about this, these things like this, drawing us closer to Christ, drawing us closer to ourselves so we can really fulfill this thing called life. You understand what I'm saying? All right, y'all, thumbs up this video, subscribe, turn the notification notification bell on turn it to another color okay because you want to be notified when i upload another video do you just hit the subscribe button we're just subscribing i won't see you again <laughs> i want to see you again comment down below if this your first time you know i like to say hey and i like to interact with my comment section and all of that other good stuff but until next time i'll catch you in the next video i love you and you know god loves you most
Peace.